Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18, where we have our research team joining in with what the trade setup is looking like, the stocks that are likely to be in the news in the action from the FNO space as well. This is our Power Prep segment. Hey guys, a very good morning to all of you. Uh, Ekta, let me come across to you. Looks like another good day for our own markets. Thanks for that. Well, yes, you know, yesterday was a good day of trade ahead of the big queues. We had the Nifty, which scaled 18,700. The India CPI, the steady global queues, the lower crude prices really aided sentiment. So for today, the big queue is obviously the US inflation data, which is coming at 4% for the month of May, which is an over two year low. The US markets did close higher. We have Asia, which is enthusiastic and the SGX indicating that we could probably move higher in today's trading session. Now, uh, all eyes will be on the Fed possibly skipping that rate hike. The street is now probably anticipating a 90% chance that the Fed will not hike rates tomorrow. And remember that the Fed has implemented 10 consecutive rate hikes over the past 14 odd months. Rates are already at around 5% plus and at the highest level in 16 years. So yes, how long the pause sta stays, that's something that the street would watch, watch out for. But as of now, there are permutations and combinations in terms of what the Fed could do in the coming months. And maybe there could be a pause all the way up till November as well. But a lot of this is going to depend on the commentary as well as the inflation data in the coming months. Now, in terms of our markets, broader markets have outperformed. Mid-cap index at a record high. Mid-cap index was up 1.2% yesterday. Week to date, it's up close to 2 odd percent. Small cap index has also rallied around a percent and a half on a week to date basis so that seems to be one pocket of the market that is going to see continued interest flows FII's net bought after two consecutive days of selling so that's positive 1677 odd crores DII's net sold 203 crores okay all right thank you Ekta so that is the market setup for today but a lot of stocks that will be in focus as well Vivek has that list Vivek well good morning you know quite a few stocks to keep on your radar first on our list Tata Chemicals uh, uh, what we understand is that the company has further gone ahead and downward revised its prices as far as soda ash is concerned and this time around the cut has been quite significant at 2300 rupees a ton also keep an eye out for Zydus Life Sciences some positive news flow coming in over here of uh, the US FDA inspection of the company's inject injectables manufacturing facility at Ahmedabad has got a clean sheet from the US FDA. At the end of the inspection, there were nil observations that were seen as far as the US FDA is concerned. So some positive news flow for Zydus Life. Uh, Anupam Rasayan is another stock to keep on your radar. The company has gone ahead and signed a letter of intent uh, worth almost 2,186 crore rupees. Uh, now this is with the Japanese specialty chemical companies. Important to note that this is for a supply of a patented life science active ingredient product and the supply is expected to start in calendar year 2025. Lastly, you know, yesterday we saw a large block as far as capacity and price concerned. 4.7% equity was sold. Uh, so the seller was Newquest Asia Investments. Uh, at, you know, they sold almost 32 lakh shares at 190 rupees a share. Amongst the buyers, one large buyer was Society General, picking up almost 24.1 lakh shares. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Vivek, uh, for joining in with those talks. Let me finally go across to Nigel, joining in with all the cues from the FNO space this morning. Nigel. Well, morning, Sonal. You know, yesterday it was Tuesday and we said the Nifty Financial Services Index will be most crucial. And you pull up the Nifty Financial Services Index and there is a bit of an overlap with the Nifty Bank. Both of them moved to the high point of the day. So there was an expiry-related phenomena that played out yesterday as we've been seeing on Tuesdays. What happened on the Nifty in terms of open interest? There was some shedding. And if you look at it, the open interest has been coming down, telling you going into this Fed event, the open interest is on the lighter side. The Nifty futures as well, you did have the premium that came down to around 60 points in comparison to around 80 points odd. But there was no actually short positioning that was added. There were some longs that were added, close on 4,000 long contracts. The shots, in fact, got covered by close on 2,000 contracts odd. And now the FI is their net long on the index with their positioning at around 51%. Let's look at the options data. The 18,700 put, well, that open interest now has gone to more than a crore shares. Yesterday as well, it added close to 45 lakh shares. And between the 18,700, 18,650 put, they added more than 85 lakh shares out there. On the upside, you know, those call writers, they were feeling confident that we got the higher levels uh, protected. Now, in the last few days, there is big shedding that we're seeing out there. Case in point being the 18,700 call. Just take a look at that. 50 lakh shares getting shed in a single trading session. So the bears, they are a little bit uh, uh, wary now about this up move that we're seeing. What are the levels you're looking at? Yet again, going by the SGX Nifty opening, 
We're going to be running into the resistance zone from where we have seen a bit of a U-turn in the last week itself. But support, that comes in at around 18,580. I say this because of the writing we've seen at 18,600 put. And also going by the writing we've seen at 18,700 put, you need to keep an eye out on the 18,650. So those are the levels you're looking at. The Nifty Bank, that needs to come to the party. The Nifty needs just to go up by nearly, nearly around 150 points. But the Nifty Bank needs to get to its fresh all-time highs, which is at around 44,500. Those are the support levels up for you in the screen. SGX 50 suggests green. Don't buy the gap up. Look to buy the intraday dip. Back to you. Okay, all right. Uh, Nigel, Vivek and Ekta, thank you so much for joining us and prepping us up for this trading day ahead. Let's slip into a break now. Up next, we'll get you all the cues from the commodities market. Stay tuned for that.